Hey, Beans. So since this video is quite art-related, I figured I'd give you guys a chance to show me some of your art. So I am going to be holding a little Amino art contest, as I think a few famous other jammers might be doing, on my Amino profile. Basically, all you have to do is post it to hashtag Julian2Art, and it has to be some sort of fan art of my horse, and the top three will be featured on my profile on Amino. And yes, you do have to create an Amino account to do this, which I highly recommend because this app has just blown me away so far. So seriously, it can be anything. It can be art you just made 30 minutes ago. It can be art that you made like a year ago. Anything that you post to hashtag Julian2Art and have in before Monday, January 23rd is eligible to be picked as a winner. So please send in your art. I would really appreciate it. And let's get on with the video. So welcome to the third installment of my top 10 masterpieces video. There are just so many amazing masterpieces in this game, as you will see when you see this list of top 10s. Now, just to preface, I really tried my best to try and include masterpieces that weren't always in the masterpiece party, because I feel like everyone's been to the masterpiece party so many times, we all see those masterpieces over and over and over. But there are one or two that you may have seen before, but I really, really tried my best to make sure that all of this art was like really good art that just hadn't been appreciated because the artists were somewhat unknown, or because they just were newer masterpieces that you probably haven't seen yet. But I'm sure that after this video, well, a lot of you will probably have seen them because people will go and like them and it will kind of screw up the whole idea of this video. But if you're watching this like right as it comes out, hopefully some of these are shocking to you and you haven't seen them before. So let's get right into it. Number 10 is one of those that you've probably seen before. It's very, very popular in the Masterpiece Party, but it is a rendition of the Avatar movie by Artemis, one of the absolute best artists in the game, seriously. And one thing I have to say about Artemis' art that I will just repeat over and over and over is that her backgrounds are just so fantastic and they add so much to the actual masterpiece. And as you can see, she has an amazing speed paint on her channel and you can just see how much effort really goes into every single one of her masterpieces and just how well it truly pays off. Again, I'm sure you have all seen this in the masterpiece party at least once because it is a very, very popular one that definitely deserves a spot on this list. Next up, we have one by Angel Fire of relatively unknown artist, someone that I hadn't seen beforehand, that hopefully, you know, gets a little more recognition after this, but they actually did a fan art of Nymphae Alba, one of my favorite Animal Jam artists in the entire game, and it is just fantastic. The attention to detail is unlike anything I have seen in almost any other masterpiece. I can't believe that this artist isn't one of the most prominent artists in the game. Just looking at this one fan art they did for a friend, probably just because they wanted to do something nice for a friend, but this is just absolutely amazing. This might actually look better than the actual bunny that Animal Gym gives to you with a founder on. I mean, those curves and edges and details just really give the masterpiece new life, especially when you're not looking at it up close. Looking at it from a distance just makes this thing look crisp as, as the crispest apple you can possibly imagine. It's even crisper than that. It's just very, very good. Number eight is one by Fab Feebly. It's like, it's like Fab Phoebe, but it's Fab Feebly. I don't know. Ask her. And it's of this fantastic tiger hidden in the bushes. And I love it because it's like, normally when you see tigers on Animal Jam, they're like these big, strong Sir Gilbert types. And they're like, oh, I'm going to beat up all the fandoms with my giant braveness and strength. But this is just like the sneaky little jungle panther kind of thing. Maybe a little bit of a Hearthstone reference there, but you know, you know. I just love how this person took an animal that in Animal Jam is normally viewed as like this giant animal. It made it this stealthy, cool, dark animal, and the color scheme just matches that so perfectly. Somehow, even the bright, vibrant colors of this orange tiger seem like dark in contrast to the surroundings, and it feels like even though the tiger is bright orange and everything else is black, it still fits right into that little hiding spot, and I just love it. The more you look at it, the more you'll love it, and though it may not be the most clean masterpiece in the entire world, I know, I'm getting really nitpicky here, that is an amazing masterpiece. The concept and the execution are just fantastic. Number seven is a Tangled Masterpiece by EAH Holly Blossom. At the moment, this one does not have that many likes, but I guarantee you in like two or three days, it's going to explode because something like this that appeals to fandoms and kids and is very, very good and is done by a well-known artist just can't keep its way out of the Masterpiece Party. So I'm sure if you're watching this like after January of 2017, you'll probably have already seen this, but I just thought this was so amazing and I haven't seen it before. So I just found this while looking for masterpieces for this video. It is so well done and so realistic. It almost looks like the actual animation done from the movie by a team of professionals. Number six is another, okay, yes, princess movie by Disney, but it's a Frozen rendition by Artemis. Again, like I, I may fangirl over Artemis every once in a while, just, just maybe a little, but she is so amazing and I had to include this because again, it just captures the scene so perfectly. And again, look at Artemis' backgrounds. Just look, at, take that in. That is fantastic. It's almost like this Chinese, like, lightscape in the background of, like, the lanterns, you know, like, the stereotypical, like, Chinese New Year with all the lanterns and stuff, but yet it's put into Frozen. And again, I just love the creativity of these artists and their ability to take things 
like kids movies and just make them into pure art. Like the fact that they could take something that is meant to be like an animation movie that constantly has like moving parts and romance and all these things and capture them in one single image when normally it takes like thousands of images played over tiny little sorts of time, you know, animation to capture these moments. They just, they just take it like that. Number five is from Nymphe Alba herself. You can see why this person had fan art drawn of them. Like, wow. This is just so good. And Nymphae has this like very specific art style that I really, really enjoy. It's all like nature stuff, but it's done in this really unique way that almost makes it seem like it wasn't basically painted on, you know, word paint where you literally just get like a brush and you click and that's it. I just really, really like how Nymphae does all of her stuff. And this hedgehog is no exception. Now, unfortunately, Nymphae's style is like not always the most realistic, but that's amazing and it's on purpose. But I'm not sure that kids who are generally looking for like what looks the most realistic always appreciate that. So I love to throw Nymphae's stuff in here because it may not appear in the Masterpiece Party as much as some of the more realistic artists who really try to like capture fandoms and things. Nymphae really just sets her own path and these hedgehogs are just perfect. Again, with the idea of setting your own path, Sin Shioma has this amazing masterpiece. It's like this dark monster that again, it's like there are these bright, white, vibrant colors, yet there's still this overall feeling of like darkness and despair. And it almost, almost reminds me of the Ajin spirits from Ajin, the anime, but most of you probably don't get that. Please don't watch that. It's like TV anime. I should not have said that in a kid's video. Okay. But it really reminds me of this kind of like really well done, like creepy kind of black silhouette idea. And I really like it again because it's like they took something that normally is captured in like long periods of time and just condensed it into one moment and got all that emotion, like that little bit of creepiness, yet, yet awe for this creature, all in this one tiny moment. And I respect it so much. And again, not to fangirl over backgrounds once again, but they show just how much these artists cared about their work, that they even put so much effort into the background. And this background matches this boy perfectly. Number three is one that you probably have not seen because it's from a very, very unknown artist that I've never even heard of, but it's phenomenal. I had zero idea that this person existed, but I, I couldn't help but going to their den and checking out some of the rest of their art. But this person, Jammer001371, drew this amazing masterpiece of some purple wolves in space. And not only is the masterpiece itself just stunningly beautiful, the actual like surrounding is so amazing. The cave in the background that's just subtly there gives a sense of exploration of like the, the big space world. And it seems like they've just come out of the innocent world of like tiny caves where all they can see is darkness. And all of a sudden they have this huge expansive universe in front of them to explore. And the wings just give this sense of like, you wanna, you yearn to like go out into space. I just, I love this masterpiece so much. It truly deserves the title of a masterpiece. And the color scheme on this thing is absolutely breathtaking. The purples just take my breath away. Okay, I just said breathtaking and take my breath away, but. I can't stop fangirling over this masterpiece. Number two is one that doesn't appear in the masterpiece party that much, which is weird, but whenever I see it, I get like butterflies in my stomach. This one is by Dog Lil, and it's of an Umbreon in like a really cool Japanese setting. But again, the color scheme and the background in this one just really make it for me. The Umbreon is done so well, but again, there are so many artists in the game who can draw very realistically and put something out that looks like exactly what a photo would look like. But this is true art in my opinion. They really like, take the background and mend colors and take what photography can't do and use their own minds to set forth a picture that can't just be created by, you know, copying straight from a, a photograph you've seen or like just making a really realistic picture. This kind of stuff just really takes Animal Jam masterpieces to that next level that I feel like a lot of art communities don't have. Thank you so much to people like Dog Lil for adding these amazing masterpieces to our game. And this one from this little frog hopper bean boy is actually fantastic. I had not heard of this artist before. They're more of an up and coming artist, but they are definitely gaining popularity every single day. And I'm sure it won't be long before you start seeing their stuff in the Masterpiece Party, because as far as I've seen, I may be totally wrong here, they don't have that much art at the moment, but in a little bit, I'm sure that if this is how good they are, they will be making plenty of art. And I can't wait to see more things like this. But what I really love about this masterpiece is that it's not just one of those giant murals. It's like, not only are there two masterpieces, but it's like cut off. So even though the masterpiece is continued by one masterpiece, there's a sense of like, it keeps going. Like there's more to it and you want more of it, yet you already have two entire parts of it. And I just love that in art. I think that's such a fantastic feeling to give someone just from a standstill picture. So seriously, Beans, Thank you so much for all the art you do, and thank you so much to you guys who just look at the art. Like, I mean, honestly, artists wouldn't be able to do what they do if it wasn't for people who were sitting there clicking the like button or watching these videos. So if you ever feel like, man, I'm so bad at art, I feel like I had nothing to your community, 
Just remember that this is your chance. And if you want to see some more great art, go ahead and check out hashtag Julian2Art on Amino and see some of that really cool art. Maybe upvote some of your favorites if there's something you really want me to see that you think is really deserving of winning. So anyways, Beans, thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see some more of your art every day. More amazing art is added to this game, and it makes me so happy. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!